Welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. Tonight, Pune Rapids Cardinals host Northwest Suburban Conference rival Elk River. Joe Young with tonight's action up above and first chance for CTN to get a look at the volleyball team in action. Take a quick look at your starters. For the Elks, Kincaid Strain, the setter. Allison Hall, Larkin Clem, Sarah Johnson, Kaylin Plotz, and Haley Ulrich. For the Cardinals, Paige Fossil in the setter. Becca Masteler, Sophia Fr Frakey, Ellie Hintze, Lauren Koss, and Emma Wright. Coon Rapids able to pick, pick up their first couple of wins of the season in a tournament on Saturday. Would love to carry some momentum back into the regular season schedule, but a tough team ahead of them in the Elk River Elks coming in at five and three. They get the first serve, Allison Hall. Picked up by Masteler. Attack in the middle by Hintze. Picked up by the Elks. Coming back the other way. Good save by Yang, the libero. Right on the attack. Excuse me, that's Masteler on the attack into the net. And the Elks have the first point. First season for new head coach, John Enns. My first opportunity to chat with him before the contest. He was pretty excited about what he has on the floor, but uh, it's been a very fast adjustment period, a very late hire just before tryouts and a little trickery on the part of Kincaid Strain, just tipping it over to the floor to get her team a 2-0 win or a 2-0 lead. Teresa Brummer, the head coach for the Elks. A good senior dominated lineup for her. Right near the back line, Yang. Now Masteler on the attack, well wide. And Elk River a quick 3-0 lead. And that is really a, one of the keys for Coach Enns in our conversation was even in their loss to Champlin Park, they made the Rebels work for their points rather than giving up a ton of unearned points on Cardinal mistakes. I want to try and avoid getting into the deep pull here against the Elks. This one played over by Ulrich. Set goes to Hensi, the power, and she's just long. And the lead grows to four for Elk River. Good roll for Allison Hall at the service line. The Elks getting that big early lead. Nice diving save. Attack coming in the kill for Kaylee Ulrich. A number of girls with power on this Elk River lineup. And they are going to make it tough to defend. So far, they have been on offense from the word go. In the middle, that one picked up at the back line by Wright, a diving attempt by Masteler, but not able to come up with it near the floor. It's in a 6-0 lead. Paige Foslin able to, to push that one over and catch the Elks flat-footed a little bit. And finally, stop the bleeding, get the Cardinals the opportunity to get to the service line. Alex Wright will come in and serve for the Cardinals. And it's wide side out back to Elk River. Both teams moving some pieces in and out early in set number one as Ashley Lynch checks in up front for Elk River. At the service line now is Strain. Bad 
second touch on the Cardinals. A lot of height along the front line for Elk River and good athleticism too. Screen serve picked up by Wright. And the set just didn't quite click with Hintzy on the run. And the Cardinals will call a timeout here, trailing 9-1 to one in the first set. And that is exactly what they could not afford to have happen, is fall into a big hole early against a very talented Elk River squad. And as Coach Enns is preaching, you just have to be competitive and make sure again that they are able to make the Elks earn their points. On the flip side, Coach Brummer, obviously early in the season still, every coach trying to fine tune things, but has to like the way that her team has started here in the first set. Kincaid Strain back to the service line, a 9-1 lead now for her Elks. Set to Hintzy on the right side. Able to save is Aaron Davis. Tack picked up by Yang. Wright pokes it over and a net touch on the part of Elk River. Give the point and the ball back to Coon Rapids. Saw the touch of the net. Very aggressive defensive team is Elk River. A lot of hands up over the net. Trying to keep the ball on the far side. And sometimes that can burn you. Emma Wright. Into the top of the net. Sarah Johnson serving now for Elk River, a 10-2 lead. Punched over by Lauren Koss, and it doesn't come back. service into the net side out back to the Elk River Elks Samantha Loam coming in for the Cardinals at the service line now is Haley Ulrich Loam Yang and now Emma Wright waiting and playing it across Elks there to recover attack from the right side quickly Sarah Wright made the save, but the Cardinals called for four touches before it went across, apparently. Good defense at the net. We talked about it. Allison Hall there to push it back to the floor. Lead to 10 for Elk River. Can't leave those ones hanging up there against an aggressive team at the net. And Strain able to make him pay. Again, tough play in at the net. Won by the Elks. Strain with the kill. Right attacking, picked up by Davis. Not a lot on that from Clem, or Lynch rather. 
come back near side. That one's into the net for Allison Hall and a side out to the Cardinals. Emma Wright. Head to the service line for the Cardinals. Attack in the middle is good for the point from Keelan Plotz. Larkin Clem back into the game for Elk River. She'll take over at the service line with an 11 point lead. Served it right to Shevchuk, fresh on the floor for the first time. The Cardinals unable to pick it up. Pass a little long and defended well again at the net. This time, Kaelin Plotz up there to stop it on the Cardinal side of the net. And now an ace. For Larkin Clem. Goes to Chev Putz again. The Cardinals able to turn this one and get it over though. Attack, nice save along the back by Shevchuk. Hall took a little something off of that attack. Mastler too much on it. Plays it out the end line and it'll be an Elk River point. Clem, another ace. 20 to 4. Chev Chuck along the line, able to save it. The good set. But uh, apparently going just under was Fosslin to get that set. Got a foot over. And that'll be a point for the Elks 21 to 4. There you see it, definitely stepped over the line. Mastler punches it over, picked up there by Davis. Attacked by Hall, picked up by Shevchuk. In the middle, a nice block by the Elks. Cardinals able to recover. Loam attacking down the line, Davis is there. Back set, hustling was Larkin, but she's not able to get there in time. Larkin Clem, that is. And that will finally be a side out back to the Cardinals. Goss's serve picked up. Quick turn from Strain. Cardinals trying to bring it back. That pass a little long and carried Mastler into the net. Mastler receives. Attack in the middle from Frankie. Clem back the other way for Elk River. Another battle at the net won by the visitors. And they're just two points away from taking the first set. Here in Davis will serve now for Elk River. Another strong play at the net from the Elks. Not going to be able to recover, though the Cardinals will get the point. And another opportunity on the serve. They have not won a point on serve yet here in set number one. They trail with only a couple of points away 
Elk River only a couple points away from ending it. Miss hit from Sarah Johnson and gave herself kind of a funny look. Didn't. Little missed time by Mesteler on the weak pass. Opportunity came. And the Cardinals not able to capitalize. So now it is set point for the Elks as Strain goes to the service line. And she will finish it with an ace, the third of the set for the Elk River Elks. And they will take game one quickly. We will take a break and be back with more from Rondre Carlson after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTN. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's crawl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's crawl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm, hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Boom. I'm a single mother, and I was the main one working, so I never thought that I could go back to school, you know? My sister, my mother, everybody wanted to help me with my kids. I could not have gone my diploma without my family. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Fancy Pants Peanut Butter? A big screen television? If you haven't even bought a sofa yet. A motorcycle? When your father finds out, he's gonna flip his shoes with two buckles? What do you even need two buckles for? Mr. Big Shot, buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. Feed the pig. Elk River able to come out and establish a presence early in the first set. They got their offense going, their defense helped as well. They jumped out to a very big lead early, scored the first seven points of the uh, set and went on to the healthy 25-7 win. And again, a work in progress for the Cardinals. They want to continue to progress and make the Elks earn more points than they did in set number one. You see, not a lot of action on the stat board, Young, officially, for either team. But uh, that means a lot of miscues led to a lot of those points in the first set. So Cardinals definitely want a better start in the second set. As they gave up the first six in set number one, they would like to see if they can't get themselves in the lead and play with the lead a little bit. Paige Fossland will serve, and this second set is underway. Elks a little sloppy on the receiving end, and the Cardinals do have the early lead. 
Much better turn that time on, and they get a finish. Sarah Johnson getting the kill on their left side. That'll put the setter strain at the service line for Elk River. Mastler attacking, blocked, and out of bounds. Cardinal point, kill for Mastler. And that's how it's supposed to work. It comes across, you have a receive, a set, and a finish. That's what the Cardinals got, one, two, three. Alex Wright serving and serving it long. Back to a tie at 2-2. Two, two. Six foot, two inch senior Sidney Schuster into the line along that already tall front row for the Elks. Set goes to Hensey, she's blocked. And the Elks have their first lead of the second set. Set in the middle, another block, this time by Sarah Johnson. Back-to-back -back defensive plays have the Elk River Elks in the lead, 4-2 here in set number two. Strain serving, Yang can't get it with the single hand in the back corner. Another ace for the Elks. And another streak starting for the visiting squad that had a couple of big runs in set number one. Back-to-back -back aces for Kincaid Strain. Emma Wright on the attack, another block for Johnson in the middle. A wall over there, Sidney Schuster down the line and tried to play it back to the inside part of the court. And there to block it was Johnson. Cardinals able to recover on a sloppy pass there. Not this time, though. And they will fall further behind 8-2. The lead for the Elk River Elks here in the second set. Attack by right is wide. Lead to 9 2. Boslin tips it over. Davis was not to be confused. Johnson didn't get the hit she wanted, but it was effective. Gets through the defense to the floor. Gets her team the score. It's 10 to 2 in favor of Elk River. Right attacking, got underneath it, and sends it into the stands. Timeout, Coon Rapids. Timeout. And right back in the position they were in in the first set. Big deficit early. Not quite double digit deficit yet, but trending in that direction as they are struggling against the Elks, both offensively and defensively. So many weapons on the floor for Coach Brummer and her Elks, and again, a more experienced team that's been playing with the same systems longer. 
We'll talk about the Cardinal team. Coach Enns hired after the blackout period had started before tryouts. So about a week and a half before tryouts started, they got him the job. Came into the building and is teaching and is very excited about the position, but a lot of growing pains to go through. Just finally got the, the jerseys. Get some things settled out. Some, some things take longer than others to straighten out, unfortunately. The hit by Hintzy is long. And the lead is 10 for Elk River. Back line picks up the serve. She'll attack from midcourt. Therefore, it is strained. Big block at the line by Hinsey, and the Cardinals get the point. First block of the match. For the Cardinals. Allison Yang serving now. Nice dig by Davis, pushed across by Strain. Another block by Johnson in the middle, but out of bounds, and it's the Cardinal point. A kill for Emma Wright. Blocked again, nice save by Yang. Cardinals got a good volley going. Hintzy plays it over, Davis keeps it alive. Strain plays it over, and Vosselin got too close to the net and underneath. Johnson plays it right to the back line and gets the ace right. Stepped out of the way, thought that was going long. Unfortunately, right on the line, perfect placement from Zara Johnson. Hinsey able to blow one through the block attempt. Get that side out right back for Coon Rapids. Good fan base on hand here at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse trying to get active. They haven't had a ton to cheer about as Elk Rivers had big leads from the very start. And that by Hintzy just out past that back corner. the basketball hoop and Cardinal scrambled, not able to push it back over. Good quick set and the kill in the middle for Lauren Koss. A lot harder to defend those short sets. Attack by Schuster picked up. Cardinals counter with Mastiller. Bents on the recovery over there. Attacking, getting the kill along the left side is Allison Hall.
Claire Hillary, just a sophomore, getting some playing time tonight. She'll get into the service line for the Elks. Another ace says it's in tight on Loam. Pushed over by Masteler. Good save by Yang. Jump ball in the middle, and it's won by Keelan Plotz. Bosselin pushes it over. Good save by Davis. And the kill by Hall. 20 to 6. The lead in favor of the Elks. More miscommunication, but Cardinals able to battle through this time. Strain tried to just play it across and get caught in the net. And that'll give the serve and the point to the Cardinals. Masler plays it over. Set in the middle and a big kill from Plotts. Again, a lot of weapons, a lot, a lot of height for Elk River, and you watch them in warm-ups, you knew they would bring a lot of different weapons. All able to get it through the block and to the floor for the kill, a 22-7 lead. Good diving save by Hillary. And the kill for Hall. Ended up long, but Lone got a piece of it first. So 24-7 set point for the Elks. Served from Davis, pushed at by Shevchuk, played across by Fosselin. Attacking his Hall, Yang picks it up. Set for Masteler. Davis goes to the floor to dig it out. Hall on the attack, Yang is there for the Cardinals. Masteler attacking too much on it. Set two goes to the Elks, they have a 2-0 lead. Same scores in both Sets 25-7 in favor of the visiting Elk River Elks. We'll take a break. Be back with the third set after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTS. So Maddie, congrats on paying off all those student loans. Finally, right? How'd you manage that anyway? I started tracking my spending, changed a couple of habits. Wow. I'm kind of living paycheck to paycheck right now. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm doing it. Well, have you tried saving a little? <laughs> I want to, but where's that money going to come from? <laughs> 
bill collectors, they're the worst. Am I right? When it comes to financial <laughs> stability, don't get left behind. Not home. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. <laughs> Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. So we were walking to school. I started thinking about lunch. Mom packed me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. Sometimes her mind wanders. We should have a sleepover. I remember saying, Laura? I think I heard Laura. Mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. I really hope she doesn't I have really another bad day I really hope I don't have another bad day at school, day. school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Well, Coon Rapids got their points earlier in the second set, but still not enough of them. And again, Elk River put together big, long runs to pull away with a relatively easy victory. And now they have the Cardinals on the verge of a sweep here at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. A lot of, excuse me, defense in that one. For the Elks, a little more offense as well. But five aces were a big key to the victory for Elk River there in the second set. Again, a 25-7 score. Has them on the verge of a sweep and a quick exit on a Tuesday night. Kincaid Strain waits at the service line. It's where she was for, oh, it's Allison Hall, excuse me, at the service line. And she starts it with an ace. Passes long, tipped across to the floor by Johnson. 2-0 lead early for Elk River. Capitalizing on mistakes, that's what more experienced teams are able to do more effectively. Good strong attack from Mastler, but a great pickup from Davis. Played over by Plotz. <laughs> Referees want to talk. The, that one came back around the pole. Tag from Hintzy on the near side. Officials just want to make sure they get it right. Point in favor of the Elks. I'm saying the block uh, did get, came down, got a piece of the line. Cardinals, of course, disagree, but the point is moot, and the serve is long for Allison Hall. Cardinals point, Cardinals. 
Cardinals will get an opportunity at the service line. Alex Wright serving, picked up by Davis, the set. And the big attack there from Ulrich. Emma Wright attacking, big block by Johnson. And a point for the Elks. Cardinals with a bad hit, a 5-1 lead, and screen at the service line. Ace for the Elks, and a 6-1 lead, and this is the pace they like, just keep the ball in play, keep the Cardinals on their heels. They have done so well through the first two sets, jumping out to another big lead here to start the third. Punched over by Johnson. Fosslin sets it across, another big block. Johnson was at the net, but I think it was Ashley Lynch that actually got that one to the floor. And another bad touch. Gives it back to Elk River. 8-1 lead now here in the third set. Point for the Cardinals is Frankie just to flex it around the defense. It's not always about power, it's about placement. Tipped it around the block attempt right to the floor. Inside the line, clearly. Yang's serve, pushed over by Johnson. Back set for Hensey. Picked up by Hall. Set comes to Ulrich. Yang is there. And the Cardinals with another carry. And now Sarah Johnson at the service line. Right, blocked. This time it's Schuster. And Lynch there on the defense. Fosslin will pass it over. Quick little back set. Nice save by Fosslin on the attack. Hinsey plays it into the net. And the Cardinals are going to take timeout. Trailing now 11-2 here in set number three. Exact same score it was when they took their timeout in the second set. First two sets, both decided by the same 25-7 score in favor of the Elk River Elks. Allison Hall had a big game so far for the Elks. Their team cruising and the experience shows. I mean, again, we talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the contest. A very senior dominated lineup for the Elk River squad. The Cardinals a little bit younger, but also, uh, you know, so much new with the new coach John Enns coming in to take over this year.
Johnson serve again finds the very back line. Emma Wright went up to play it and then pulled back, let it go, and it came down right on the line. Alex Wright there to pick this one up. Set goes to Hensi attacking. Strain is there, but straight out of bounds. A kill for Hensi. We'll get the Cardinals back, the ball back on the side out. Hensi will head to the service line. Davis there to dig it out. Attacked by Lynch. Alex Wright is there. Big block in the middle from Schuster, and then it's Ulrich pushing it to the floor for the point for Elk River. Molly Bensey and Kennedy Gle Gleason coming into the contest. Bens is at the service line. Foslin got a piece of the net as she pushed it over. Another point for the Elks. Pushed to the floor by Schuster. And Elk River is starting another good little streak going. Push the lead to 12. Koss just got way too much on that one. Sends it out of play. by the Elks, so Fossland, good quick thinking to push that one across. Emma Wright serving, Bentz there to receive. Attack in the middle is good. For Lauren Koss. Getting a couple of wet spots taken care of on the court. Emma Wright waiting to serve. Good one picked up by Benz. Lynch got underneath that one and sends it past the end line. Court attack, good power on it from Gleason. Set in the middle, Schuster attacking. Cardinals able to pick it back up. Big block from Schuster and Lynch on the far side. Already the Elks' fifth block of this third set. They now have 11 in the match to just one for the Cardinals. The height and experience, can't say enough about it, but especially the height, so much height across their front line. They have won a lot of those battles up close to the net. Masteler fires it through. Davis able to receive. Gleason attacking, but into the net. 
side of Cardinals Point Cardinals. Cardinals would like to at least improve upon set one and two scores if possible. Now at seven, which is where they finished in each of the first two. Just too many of those unforced errors that have given the Elks points. Nearly impossible to overcome too many of those when you're when you're facing quality competition. And again, just a uh, pass is too long. Johnson plays it away from the defense. Easy point for the Elks. Johnson attacking. Yang is there. Loam on the attack. Not sure if that caught the top of the net or if that caught, if that was yet another block. I think Loam just caught the top of the tape. Elks able to keep this one alive. Gleason, great save by Shevchuk, but the Cardinals aren't able to turn it around. Elks just four points away now from sweeping up. Shevchuk, great dive, but Cardinals could not recover. Masteler blocked. Cardinals able to save it. Shevchuk will play it over. Gleason attacking and found that back corner. right on the line. Another look at it right on the line. Good call by our lines person. It's a thankless job, but it is appreciated. And she made the right call there. 22-7 and a carry by Elk River will give Coon Rapids the side out. Gleason is stuffed by Masteler. Long pass. Alex able to pick it up off the net. Masteler attacking. They got a piece of it. Keep it alive. And Bents will play it over, but out of bounds. Cardinals best run of the evening, but maybe too little too late as they trail 22-10 here in the third set. And that was the extent of the run as the serve out of bounds will be a side out. Hall will come into the service line where she started this set. Hoping to finish it. With a sweep. Masseler had that one come in on her hard. Another ace. And now it is match point. Coon Rapids will get at least one more chance as Hall's serve had far too much behind it. So the Wright twins will check back in. Alex will head to the service line. Team trailing 11-24 here in the third set. Almost a good recovery, but that one rolled the top of the net on Larkin Clem. And 
and an ace first of the night for the Cardinals. Weak pass, right had a piece of it, but then played out of bounds, and that is going to do it. The Elks are going to get out of here with a pretty quick sweep, 25-7, 25-7, and 25-13. to Cardinals may be a little bit better in the third set, but again, Elks just a lot of height, a lot of skill, a lot of different weapons, and uh, very good along the net, and the Cardinals gave up far too many big, long runs for the visitors and could not find enough of their own. And again, too many mistakes. And that's the kind of thing that Coach Hens trying to clean up as we move into the season. Again, still very early in the year. We're just uh, really getting started and underway. But uh, another tough loss for the Cardinals will drop them to two and seven on the season. The final again is Elk River in three, 25-7, 25-7, 25 Elks again in the third set. Just impressive runs and, and getting production from all over the floor. Cardinals a little more aggressive at the net, had a couple more clean Passing plays, setting up attacks. Those are the things they need to see, the progression. And uh, they saw a little bit of it in set number three, just not nearly enough. The Elks still able to run away with the 25-13 win. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. We want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.